Hi, I'm Kristen Bell here with a kit to play Truth or Dare. Oh, wow, I want all truths. I mean, we could do dares, but why? What's been your most awkward celebrity encounter ever? So I had, have, a big crush on Riz Ahmed. We saw him uh, last year at the Golden Globes, and my husband, Bless, who is the best wingman I could ever ask for, saw that I saw Riz Ahmed uh, on the carpet, pulled me over to him, and my husband said, my wife thinks you're very attractive. In retrospect, that scared Riz. It felt like, okay, this guy who's a foot taller than me is either wanting me to flirt with his wife, and what are we gonna triple up? Or is this a trap and if I say, oh, she's also very attractive, is he gonna punch me in the face? I'm sorry, Riz. Oddly enough, it was just genuine. My husband's a great wingman. Hmm, see, truths are so much funnier. What's your perfect date night with Dax and how has it evolved through the years? It ends a lot earlier these days, a, like a lot earlier. We try to do a date night like once a month where it's a proper date night. It doesn't always happen. I say we try to because we have the intention to. Intentions are important. The reality is it's once every four months. On a daily basis, once we put the kids to get bed, we will watch a show together, which is important because there's like physical contact, we're snuggling, we're invested in something together, watching Handmaids and, you know, waxing poetic about how we're five years away from that. And Riz, you're invited anytime. That's Obvious. Uh, what's the craziest thing that's ever happened to you while traveling with kids? Simplest one is diaper blowout, obviously, on the plane. And it wasn't a blowout so much, it was a real full, saggy set of cheeks. And it ripped on the side. No, I remember what happened. I ripped it off because it was full, then realized I had no more diapers. Thought fast, like MacGyver. I took out my hair tie and I um, ponytailed the side of her diaper, which also, you know, squeezed a little bit of yarn down her legs. But I wiped it up. What are you gonna do? If you had to dress as one of your characters for the rest of your life, who would you pick? Oh, Eleanor Shellstrop. Sarah Marshall is too fussy. Uh, love Veronica Mars, but it's darker. Anna wears heels all day, and I don't play with that. Eleanor Shellstrop wears sweatpants really soft sweaters or soft uh, t-shirts and tennis shoes. That's easy. What's the grossest thing one of your kids has ever done? I had just fed her and my husband was holding her above his head and she had spit up a little bit and then he wiped it up and then he went right back to it. Don't do that. She puked right into his mouth and he swallowed it. It was gnarly. My kids don't do a ton of gross things. I mean, I guess they do. Like, they pick their nose and then, like, hand it to me. That happens daily. They like to consider themselves pranksters. One time they taped bubble gum, unchewed, thank God, to um, my seat. And it was just a bunch of, like, bubble gum and scotch tape. I don't know what they thought that prank was gonna be, but in their head it was great. They also, a couple days ago, said, we really wanna cuddle in your bed before we go to sleep. I said, okay. I pulled down my sheets, they have dumped a gallon of water on my mattress. My mattress was saturated and they shoved a bunch of pumpkins, like the little decorative pumpkins in there along with a bunch of their dirty underwear. They also um, sometimes will yell from their bedroom, can you check on us? And I'll walk in there silently and be like, oh, are my babies, do they need a cuddle? And I opened the door, this was just the other day, and there were wet wipes, these Hello Bella wet wipes in like squares to the bed. I thought, oh, it's as a path, I'll take it. On top of the wet wipes was a squeeze of toothpaste. They think these are very entertaining. I then politely explained to them, when you're thinking of a prank, because look, I love a prank. I love a good joke. Try and consider how much cleanup will be involved for the person you're pranking. They promised they would consider it. I'm done! I'm Kristen Bell, thank you so much for joining us.